I think it's recording. Yeah, it is. Anyways, a uh, yoke. Some guys were asking me how the proper way to install the yoke. Uh, somebody left a comment on it. So this is between the axles. A buddy of mine working in this truck is shy. Uh, <clears throat> so the yoke, we're putting new yoke in because the splines wore out. It goes like that. We found a new seal in it. You guys get the principle, so it slides in. <sighs> really simple thing, so the oil doesn't leak around a seal, it doesn't leak through the splines and through the tread. You use, always use new nut. Uh, you use red Loctite on that nut, and it comes with the Loctite. And you use NICs to put on a splines, not a tread, put on a splines. But don't put on the splines, put on the yoke right here. And then I got a tube of silicone. You always wanna silicone the skirt. Like you put black silicone right here around and then lock, lock tight inside. That way when the oil travels, it doesn't travel through the, uh, through the splines and they splash all over and they will, you will get oil up here because you wanna keep this dry. The reason you use extra Loctite, because Loctite works like NICs and it works like a glue. If you have enough Loctite, there's no moisture can actually get in, in the tread and rust it out because what we just did, right Rusty? Yes sir. Two and a half hours or whatever, an hour and a half, two hours to trying to take a nut off because somebody just grabbed the nut and put it on and didn't do nothing and then moisture got in and rusted out. So. A Loctite, once again, I will explain uh, regular red Loctite, work as a glue where it doesn't get loose and it works as an anti-seas. Because if it don't come off and you have enough Loctite there, you literally can heat that this uh, heat this up with a torch and the nut will come off. So simple as that. Thanks for watching.